mamas, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Tori and I'm the Wild Mother and my channel is called The Wild Mother. And on my channel, I make videos all about motherhood inspired by nature and getting back to our primal and ancestral roots. So if you're interested in things like natural and herbal remedies, parenting in nature, conscious and respectful parenting, and following a traditional foods, Weston A. Price nourishing traditions type of diet, then I think you'll like it here and I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. So in this video today, I'm going to be showing you my natural medicine cabinet and all the things that I keep on hand um, to keep us healthy and if we, in case we get sick. But I hope that you can gain some inspiration from my natural medicine cabinet. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so first things first, I wanna show you in my medicine cabinet. So in this cabinet here is where I keep all of our supplements and external creams uh, and things like that. So I'm just gonna dive right in and show you. Okay, so first here I have my prenatal. I have the grass-fed liver, desiccated liver supplements that I take every day. I have two of these formulas, herbal formulas from Organic Olivia, Adrenal Recovery, and Parapro. All right, and then we get into like the vitamins. So I have sodium ascorbate vitamin C, which is, this is the brand that Dr. Suzanne Humphrey recommends, um, Nutribiotic Sodium Ascorbate. Um, and it's very budget friendly, so I have two of those stocked up. I have Omega-3s, Butterbur, which I haven't really used. I think I bought it um, to try to help with uh, Nathan's allergies one time. Um, also same for quercetin. Back here I have some vitamin B12 and nipple butter for when I first started breastfeeding. I have um, women's probiotic here from Garden of Life. I haven't taken that in a while. I have some, oh well this isn't really medicine cabinet, but this is some stevia drops. Um, some baby probiotic drops that I have not used since she was a newborn. <laughs> some vitamin D, um, more vitamin B12. I have ionic zinc right here. This is a zinc that we take when we're sick. Uh, oh, here's another Organic Olivia, um, her Not Your Average Probiotic formula. Up here I have our vitamin K that we gave um, my daughter when she was born. Um, I have some evening primrose, which I was taking to try to conceive. Um, it did help, I think. And then this box is Lipsomal Vitamin C, which I have on hand just in case we are to get really sick and need like vitamin C that absorbs um, really quickly um, and everything. So yeah, so that's the bottom field. Oh, and this is Oscillococcinum, a homeopathic remedy for flu. Okay, so now let's move up to shelf two. Okay, now I'm standing on a chair so I can be equal to shelf two. Probably not safe while pregnant, but I'll be careful. All right, so I can't remember the name of this, but it's uh, what you look in to see if someone has an ear infection. So it has a light here. Honestly, I recommend that every mom has one of these because it is so handy to be able to look in your child's ear and see if they have an ear infection. Um, and if, you know, if you can start, if they're starting to get an ear infection, you can start um, preventatively treating it without having to run to the doctor every time. So I really love that. Although my daughter's never had a ear infection, but sometimes I've been worried that she has like when she's teething and she's pulling on her ears. Um, so here I have um, Badger Natural Sunscreen, which I just keep on hand in case we need it, but we've never actually used it as we practice um, conscious sun exposure. I have these two little bottles that someone gave me of Dr. Bronner's. And then also this, someone gave me this aloe vera gel. Here I have our calcium carbonate, which is what I use um, in our remineralizing remineral, re toothpaste, which I'm going to be making a video on how I make that soon. I have some calendula cream and sinus calm homeopathic remedies. My husband takes sinus calm for his seasonal allergies and calendula, calendula is great for bug bites and burns and I all that. I have fractionated coconut oil, I have witch hazel, um, more fractionated coconut oil, beeswax, some alcohol. Back there is, um, what is this? Oh, aloe vera gel as well. And then this is a big thing of glycerin. So this is more like supplies for making remedies. Um, oh look, this is funny. I have a thing of ibuprofen. That must be so expired by now. Wow. 
haven't used that in years. Um, and then I have a thing of band-aids. And then up here, and there's all, this is like a thing of herbs, skull cap that couldn't fit in my jars. And that's what's on this third shelf here too, is herbs that couldn't, I couldn't fit in the rest of the jars. So a couple herbs and teas back there. And then on this side is where I make all my tinctures. So where tinctures have to sit for like six weeks, uh, two months before they're ready. So this is where I keep them. Start cabinet and I have my extra jars stored there and there. And then my spices all stored there. So that is my supplement cabinet. Let's move on to the herb shelf now. All right, so over here at my little apothecary, this is where I usually record my videos. Um, so on this shelf, this top shelf is all of the bulk loose leaf herbs that I have. You can see it goes back pretty far and that's what this shelf is too. Maybe sometime I could do like a complete tour of all the herbs that I have, but yeah, so little spice jars that are full. This is like caraway. Um, oh, these are kale seeds from our garden and this is chamomile from our garden that we're harvesting. Um, but yeah, you can see here, this is just all of my dried herbs. Most of the jars are painted black to keep protect them. Um, so yeah, keep all of these on hand and make infusions and make remedies with. And this side here is some infused oils that I made. So I have plantain oil and that is calendula and lavender oil back there. And then on this shelf, I have some more loose leaf herbs. It looks like, like this is rose hips. Um, marshmallow root but then also in the back I have some of my tinctures that I've made so like this is a jar of nettle tincture chamomile tincture and I mean tinctures last for forever basically when they're made with alcohol so the jars are painted black and that's where I keep all of my herbal medicine on hand that I've made also have mortar and pestle, some crystals, and a sage bundle. And then the shelf here is all of my herbal books, which maybe I can do a better tour of that sometime. And then over here, these are more of the tinctures that I've made. So the I like to keep my tinctures in these bottles, but when I run out of these bottles, that's when I start putting them in jars like the nettle tincture here. But ideally, um, I try to buy these. So these are all of my tinctures. I have a fresh oregano tincture I made from the garden. Plantain tincture, white willow bark, elderberry hibiscus glycerin, chickweed tincture, like just a lot, as many as I can. I love to collect them and keep them on hand. And then up here, this is more of the same tinctures, just in dropper bottles. Um, so here's like kudzu root, chamomile, rosemary. So that's lavender oil. Um, metal, skull cap tincture. Astragalus root. Um, over here I have some of the ones that I bought, like mullein garlic eardrops. That's my digestion tincture, a teething tincture back there. Do you want to talk about the herbs too? Yeah. What do you want to show us about the herbs? Do you want to show us some of the herbs that you like? Yeah. Which ones do you like? What is that? What is that one? That's rose hips. They're nice and sweet, huh? Thanks for showing us that. Um, in this bag right here, I have some dried rosemary that I picked yesterday that I'm going to be drying. So anyway, I think that that completes my apothecary, the herbal section. Um, Love having all these herbs on hand, really just for anything that we might need them for. Um, and I have all the herbal reference books so that if we ever get sick or whatever, I know exactly what herbs to turn to. Homeopathic remedies, yeah. Okay, on to the homeopathic remedies now. Let's go. Okay, so I keep all of our homeopathic remedies in our bathroom here. All right, Ellen, what are these called? Remedies. Homeopathic remedies. <laughs> Alright, which, which one do you have? Remedy. Homeopathic remedy? That's chamomilia for your teeth? Yeah. You love that one? Yeah. Okay. 
Alright, so in this little shelf is where I keep all the homeopathic remedies I'm collecting. I'm just now getting into homeopathic remedies and luckily I've gotten all these when they were on um, clearance at different stores that I happen to go into. But yeah, so I, I'm just trying to collect them and get as many as I can so that I'm always prepared. Um, so, so I don't have much experience using these yet, but I love having a collection so that I'm prepared for um, when I do need to use them for sure. So yeah, that's my homeopathic remedy collection. And then also in the bathroom here, I do keep a couple essential oils, which Elowen is holding them right now. Um, mostly just to diffuse. I don't use the um, essential oils that much. I kind of prefer using the whole plant with herbs, but I do love diffusing them. Um, and here's a couple more too. Look at this belly. Okay, so this concludes the tour of my natural medicine cabinet. I hope that you guys liked it. Let me know if you have any questions about what I do or don't have or how I use things. Just comment below. I'd love to answer them for you. And also comment and let me know what things you also have in your natural, natural medicine cabinet because I always love adding new things to it to keep on hand and keep stocked up. As you can see, we didn't have like any regular medicine. Well, we did have that one thing of ibuprofen that I didn't even know was in there. <laughs> Um, and I actually remembered that's from after I gave birth to her, I had torn really bad and I was in a lot of pain. So um, I took some of those then because I wasn't prepared. I didn't have any herbs <laughs> at that time and I was not prepared for um, that type of pressure and pain that I had after birth. So that's why that was up there, but we haven't used this in like two years. I hope that you guys liked this video and if you did, then be sure you subscribe to my channel and um, like the video and yeah, I would love to see you around and love to have you join my community here. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye! You want to say bye?